Hello all, in my previous video I discussed about the announcement, the, the new feature in Kingston release and I was discussing about the behavior of the announcement which we can set. So, if we are setting the behavior as page, so we have to define the page name here. This is the page ID and if you are setting that target as you are in, in current browser tab or you are in, in new browser tab, so you have to define the URL. So, by clicking on this, click here, it will go to the URL which we, you will define here. So, so, I have made this test an announcement as my display first announcement. So, if I check here, so this is coming as first and this is coming as second because I set this as display first. The same way you can set the order for our announcement. I'll make this announcement as public so it will be visible to all the users if i want to set this to particular role so i can uncheck this and select the role here so for now i am selecting the role as admin here and saving the announcement record if i go to the user have been Another role, accept admin role and refresh my URL, service portal URL. Then I see the test announcement is not displayed for the able tutor. The user doesn't have admin access because I have set my announcement as role specific. Let me post it back to system admin. This is the way we can create announcement. We can set the behavior for announcement to whom it should display, to whom it should not display. The style we can set. We can set the page URL. We can set the type for the announcement. Where it should get displayed on the portal. Either on service portal top header or on service portal visit instance this way till now we have discussed service portal existing functionalities Second, we have discussed <coughs> announcements. Third, we will discuss font libraries. Now, service now has added, or you can say upgraded to more font awesome libraries. Now you can use different different types of icons on your widgets. Name of your icons, for example, as flag icon, folder open icon, Google Plus icon, picture icon, calendar icon, and bell icon. To use this icon, you have to write the syntax as this. You can change the size and color for your icon as well as. For more information you can refer service now for documentation. This is a wizard I have created. In this wizard I have just included a few font icons. Those are supported by service now. If you want to see more icons supported by service now then you can refer service now for documentation. Now I have covered font awesome libraries. Now I will cover how to add SEO information to our service portal pages. By using this functionality, we can improve the search functionality of your 
service portal pages by adding meta tags and descriptive titles to our pages. This can be done by two ways. First, by adding the meta tags to our public pages. The page should be the public page. And second, by using record data, which is loading in a page to dynamically generate descriptive page title and meta tags. Go to your service portal, click on knowledge menu under operating system categories. Click on about Windows 10 knowledge article. For this article, my URL is, this is the instance name, this is the page ID and this is the sys ID of my knowledge article. And if I go, and if I select another knowledge article under the same category as this, for this knowledge article, my URL is this. So I am seeing this that. The ID for both the URL is same, but the sys ID is different. So we will go to our kb underscore article page. This is my kb underscore article page. Scroll down, we will see a related list named as dynamic list title variables. By using this related list, we can dynamically create the title for our page. Then click on new button. Give the name as percentage D title dynamic title and URL query parameter. Now we have seen that the CCID is different for both the knowledge article. So, we will give the URL query parameter as sys underscore id. From this table it is coming from knowledge table. kb underscore knowledge. And we want the number should display. And click on submit button. Copy this name and paste under dynamic page title field and save your page. When you are not using this functionality and you have not defined the dynamic page variable, at that time for this knowledge article, your page title was this. But after defining the dynamic page title variable for this article, when I refresh this screen and the portal then this article number has become the title for my page this is a functionality which has come new in a kingston release by using the core data to dynamically generate descriptive title for the page now we will create the map text for our kb article page so for this, I already have created the matter tag as name I have defined here as title, content I defined as personal title, the same content name I have defined in the content variable name and I have given the URL query parameter as society and the, and the table I have selected as knowledge base and the field I have selected as number. This is the way we also can create the matter text for our pages. This is useful only when you have selected your page as public. This is the only way you can use a meta text if your page is public. This functionality is similar as if you will open the mention items and you will define the meta for your Apple iPad as useful. If you will 
do the search on your service portal by using this meta then you will find your mention item this is the way you can use the meta in your mention items for useful meta we are finding the catalog item as apple ipad now we have covered seo information to our service portal pages functionality next is our service catalog enhancement in kingston series this is my service portal and if i click on order something this is my landing page for my service catalog there are many ways we can go to our landing page for service catalog first way is click on order something second way is click on service catalog and third way is just click on the bread curve where you will see service catalog is written so first way is order something then we are going to service catalog landing page and if i click on service catalog still i'm on the service catalog landing page you see the difference okay let me first click on knowledge then see if i click on service catalog we are going to service catalog landing page if i click on google nexus and then if i click back to this bread curve service catalog then we are landing to our service catalog pages so there are three ways to navigate to service catalog landing pages one is this second is this and third is from bread curve where you see service catalog is written so this plugin you have to install if you have upgraded from earlier version to kingston release and for new instance this plugin is installed by using this plugin for wizards are enabled in your service portal one is catalog home page sir this is nothing but the landing page for our service catalog if I, if you click on service catalog this is my landing page for service catalog and this is the wizard we are using and this is nothing but my catalog home page search wizard as you scroll to top wizard go to your page designer and search scroll as you scroll to top it will work only if your screen is of small size for example if if my screen is for having the very a uh, small size so it will scroll like this way and third is a request and approvals this is my request and approval wizard and fourth one is recent and popular item this is my my recent and popular item wizards so if i impersonate to a person who is having any request to approve so we will see let me refresh this URL. then you will see two tabs my approvals and my request popular item and the recent item if somebody has recently searched something let me go in first and back to system menu this is popular item and my recent items for system menu but for system menu there is no approval so my approval tab is not coming so these are the four wizards those are enabled by using this plugin in your catalog home search wizard you will see browse by categories link by clicking on this link you can see all the categories and under these category you can see the mention items here are the two ways we can see this items one is a card view and second is a grid view this is my grid view and this is the card view 